Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Kuma Style Reviews, and what we have is TFC Toys Ares, fully combined. All five members are in now. I believe Robot Kingdom has just started shipping out Phobos. They're not dive bomb and things like that, so everybody who's invested in this should have theirs complete by the end of the week. But if you like what you see in this video, of course, order yours at some of my site sponsors like TFSource.com, Chosen Prime, Toy Dojo. All good guys, all good places with great prices too. But anyway, taking a look, this is just a quick overview here. It's kind of showing it off and what it can do. Anything too in depth. To the top of his head, man, it's hard. This thing is so big that it's hard to look around. But it looks about, like about 13 and a quarter. Really impressive wingspan too. So, just getting this turned around back. You can also see a couple of, I'd say, fan things that I've done. All right, so on the legs, what I did, I their feet are supposed to, by the instructions, be flipped up, but I actually kept them down to keep them more stable. Um, the backpack is heavy and things like that, and it's a heavy bot in general, but this keeps it from falling backwards or anything like that. It locks them in place. You see the wings here? Lots of adjustment in the wings, too. Um, these are extended out, but if you want, you can put them back in as well. Um, these back panels actually will lock them into place once you have them all the way back but to fit around the shoulder cannons as you can see it's better to have them adjusted this black part can adjust in and out the feathers do have their own individual extensions for phobus or any of the others they all have the five millimeter peg hands these feathers do come out make sword weapons and it's cool because they're all different lengths and stuff like that too. It's really neat. Get this back in real quick. It's hard to see because it's at a slant. And of course, it is a black hole. Yeah, overall, just a nice looking piece. So, another thing that I did with mine, I actually learned this from a couple of members on TFW, just to give him some more space and in the legs, for that A stance. Um, these thighs on Neiman, they're actually supposed to be just straight, 90 degrees out, but instead I have them angled down a bit. Just to make them a little bit longer, give the legs a little bit more of a natural A. Other than that, it's pretty much transformed by the book. Now, his cannon does light up and I'll actually put the battery type on the description I don't see my screwdriver here on my table so I'm gonna have to take it out at a separate time but really good lights I'll turn off this one so you can see just how bright it is really cool so it's nice that both it and feral rags, feral rags have light up gimmicks but they're different and they're both cool. I actually like them both quite a bit, so. All right, so there's that. Now he does have the separately articulated fingers, but his sword does have pegs that tab into holes on the inside of his hands. It has three options. Top option seems the one that I can make work the best. One thing I do like about him, that's different from any combiner I've seen to date. This one, the two arm, the two arms, actually their torsos extend when you transform them into arm mode and reveal a separate ratchet joint. We're used to seeing that whole, unless it's Devastator because it comes with the separate like forearm pieces and stuff like that, where the Limbot, his thighs, and um, knees will be the bicep and elbow. So it's nice that it has an actual bicep and elbow joint built in. And it's a really strong ratchet as well. So good articulation there. All right. And that's one thing that'll be nice about the comparison to Feral Rex because they are so different. But neither of them's bad at all, really. They both have their faults, but you know. 
Lots of options. Really big sword as well. You can see that there. Now, I actually got mine all at once, which is good, but at the same time, you have to learn the whole set all at once. So I'm not the best at posing this thing, not going to lie. But hopefully, uh, through photographing and stuff like that, I'll learn a thing or two. But so far, so good. One thing that I wish that was different about it, for both the feet and the hands, it uses these connector pieces, and they're all the same. But when it comes to the hands, the feet, it's nice because it naturally weighs down in to the peg. But with the hands, you know, with the sword being heavy and stuff like that, it does. It stays in well, but it'd just be nicer if it was a nice, tight swivel and a full, separate piece for the hands than the feet. I think it would just overall have a little bit more playability to it. So, the shorter cannons can extend in and out. I believe we're actually outside of my camera range here. But overall, nice set, big set. And see what I mean with the, um, with the hands there? And of course, I can go ahead and, you know, polish it and things like that, that peg, tighten it up. But I, I do wish that it was a different connector in general. Get that back get them into more of a straight up stance also there's been a bit of back and forth about whether he has thigh swivel or not in my opinion he doesn't you could turn him at the connector point where and i just showed off some of the knee bend and stuff like that but where the legs actually combine in but they're octagonal ports so you only get 45 degrees 45 degrees 45 degrees instead of a lot of those more slight bends that you just want to do to make them look more natural and there you have it that is tfc their aries homage to g1 pretty king pretty awesome set once again look forward to comparing it to feral rex if you like what you see Order yours today at tfsource.com, toydojo.com, chosenprime.com, any of our friends and sponsors. Thank you guys for taking a look at this and look forward to looking forward to that comparison.